And what, what has been kind of your biggest highlights on your music journey? Well, um, apart from the 2011 times, you know, the tours we did around there and the shows in Isle of Wight, we managed to get nice. quite a lot of views, hit a couple of million views in that, that one year. Um, I remember probably one of the biggest highlights for me was um, finally performing at the O2 Indigo, which nice. I was only a year ago working security at. So, you know, you can imagine walking the artists to their, uh, to the dressing rooms back and forth, seeing them all performing, performing just dreaming of being there one day and you know, I managed to make that happen but it was a bit of an anti-climax you know I thought, I thought once that happens I've made it but yeah. I still have work on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> no fair enough I think that's how it gets it's, a, it's, it's quite hard for, for up and coming artists yeah especially when you're independent as well it's quite hard I imagine. exactly that yeah. so how, how did you get that gig how did you I actually had to, to win an audition um, all right I think it was uh, a maze I think we knew I think he was um I think he was present at about I'm not sure but we didn't really um, we didn't really get on too well online. Um, you know, it was a bit of back and forth. I think um, after the battle run of the rap battles that I'd had, um, he, he he put some negative comments out, and I had oh. to go to an audition, which was in the building next to the O2. Um, yeah, and he was one of the judges, uh, funny right. enough. And I had a really good audition. He um, he shook my hand. We we had a good chat about music, and um, yeah, he he put me forward for the um, for the show, and it was. It was quite a, quite a nice end to a bad week, really. Yeah, so. yeah. No, that's good. And you performed uh, "Light in the Sky." Light in the Sky, yeah. Nice. That was, uh, that was one uh, I recorded. I wrote that song. I released it ten years um, on the day that I, my dad passed. Oh, okay, right. So um, yeah, it was uh, it was nice to perform that one in front of a you know, decent crowd like that. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, so. It was like a tribute as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's nice. Talking about another one of your biggest tunes, I think your lies. It's pretty good. Well, that's a funny story with that. <laughs> I, wasn't, I was not even going to release that. Oh, all right, um, why? The, the instrumental got changed on the way to the studio. Wow. Um, it was one of them, like, you know, I liked the lyrics in the verse, but I didn't like the, uh, I just didn't like the sound of it, really. I wasn't too keen on it, but I'm, I think instantly when I released it, it, I noticed it gained more traction far quicker than anything else I'd released. And even to this day, I still think it gets about a thousand views a week just from wow. being on YouTube. and. I struggle to get that with 10 hours worth of promoting uh, I've got if I release a track these days you know it's hard to but again when you get when you get something in a in the right place it almost promotes itself yeah yeah and I think a lot of the time your best well the tunes that you don't like other people love sometimes yeah, yeah. even though I think when you're when you're a musician you've got to decide are you making music for yourself or are you making mm. music for the audience you're trying to sell to and there's a fine line it's a very fine line I can imagine yeah yeah